It's just gonna help. Mm. Oh no, not the film. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. That's right, see? Check out these whiskers. Check out these whiskers. Oh, look at the glorious whiskers. So we just had an art fair, and we, you know, it's an art fair thing. So yeah, it's another art fair episode. But it was just this last weekend, and we're starting to unload the van, because that's what you do after an art fair. You so, mean play Tetris? Well, un-Tetris. Un-Tetris the van. It was at the Banbury place in Eau Claire, and we like the Banbury place. We just don't really care for art fairs. Yeah. So we're gonna be unloading the van, chit-chatting about everything. Whenever you do an art fair, you have to unload the van and then you do damage control because when you load up the van, you're really careful with everything. But at the end of the fair, you just want to get the fudge out of there. So you've... Well, especially if you have an audience. Yeah, if you have an audience, people people waiting for you, you just... It's awkward. Last couple of pieces I just threw in there and put a towel on, hope for the best. You were out of steam. Yeah, we were demoralized and it's like, let's go home. So that's what we're doing. We're taking apart the van, doing damage control. So I guess the art fair was a success. We you didn't think so at first. We didn't think so, so we were getting really derpy at the end. But when we crunched the numbers, we actually did a little bit better than last year. I didn't sell one piece of woodworking though. I sold maybe six cutting boards and one charcuterie board, and the rest was Kara's pottery and maybe an art print or two. No paintings. No paintings, so it's like, how'd we do better than last year? Because I sold three tables last time. Because usually Banbury and Eau Claire, they're pretty good to us. It's not a huge money maker, but it's a nice place to go. We enjoy it. It's close, we get to go home. Yeah, the big thing is we get to come home. We don't have to stare at an Airbnb. A Steer. Sorry for people that have Airbnbs, but we like our house. The biggest cool thing, if that's a phrase that we can use from now on. <laughs> bringing back the 80s. Last year, in our video of the Banbury, it was yellow. Oh, that looks excessively orange. This year, it wasn't yellow. They redid the lights when we were happy about that. So the story is like this. Last year, we had the big space to ourselves, which was really nice, but it was yellow. How are your Cheetos? My Cheetos are like Cheetos. They look fluorescent I know. in this light. Those Cheetos are lies. And so when we got our booth assignment, we noticed that we were in the same place and we were crabby about that because we've specifically requested not to be in that place. A well, long story short, we did a lot of communication and the lady that we talked to last year about all this doesn't work there anymore. So the people in charge were super nice, super accommodating, and they were willing to move us and do whatever they could to help us out. But then when we got there, it's like, we like this booth. We're in the same booth we were last year. And if you remember that video, it was the yellow booth but it's not yellow this year. This is what it looks like. So when you walk into our booth, you notice the biggest change is they added new lights, which is not yellow. And then we added a couple additional lights just because we didn't know that was a thing. So our booth is spread out all nicey nice here. It goes over here among, or sorry, against the grates. And also over here, along the wall, and right in the middle. So once we were over that hurdle, we got to set up in the space. The big part of the fair that really made it for us, that makes us wanna go again, and what made it a success for us, was the people that visited. So I had a couple of old students when I taught in Thorpe, so it was Murphy and Sean, they showed up. And then I had some family members show up, my nephew Jake, my big sister, and her kid, Gail. What is her real name, it's Ampy. They showed up, which was super nice. And of course, some of our biggest fans showed up. So Ron from Chicago. Yeah. Crazy for driving that way, man. He drove from Chicago in the same day, up and down. <laughs> so thank you for supporting us. We appreciate it. Yes, and Davina and Fred, Marissa and her couple of friends that I don't know, but they were very nice. And Marissa was a kid that Kara used to babysit. Monster. Cassandra and Connor, who she was one of my students, and then we also did their wedding. I just give them Oh no, I would never do that. I would never do that. Especially without permission. 
our Potter friend, Dick Milhausen, showed up and at the very end because he was super busy too. And Kara's high school art teacher, Mrs. Oh Haas, showed up. Oh my God, Mrs. Up. Haas and her sister showed up. It's like, another person that showed up that was really cool was Tasha, the Augusta art teacher. Another person we need to thank is Belinda, old thank karate friend. We forgot, I'm sorry. We're still unloading though, so it still counts. Kara, they don't know we forgot. Like, no. I know this sounds like an award ceremony and we're thanking everybody that made the movie, but if it wasn't for you guys, we would not be doing that art fair. Mm -hmm. So thank you for showing up. Even Channel 13 was in her booth. It was weird. The Banbury Art Crawl celebrates artists and small businesses from across the Chippewa Valley. Well, there's one news team in the city and they spent a lot of time in our booth because yeah. why wouldn't you? Look, I don't mean to be rude, but this is not as easy as it looks, so I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't distract me. It's spooked. Oh, we like it. spooked McGee. Oh, one thing we forgot to mention, everybody, is the fair started off at 30 below zero. Oh, I'm gonna get you in a little tight, everybody, so you can admire the whiskers. No shave Sunday, everybody. Is he? <laughs> That's yeah, gross. Sorry. It's like 80 grit sandpaper. I'm a gross Gen Xer, everybody. <laughs> Never gonna be one of those pretty models. Just now you know. I can be a model, just not a pretty one. I can model clubs. Inappropriate. It was 30 below zero. I thought it was 35 actually. It's 35 below zero, everybody. It's like it's the coldest day of the year for 2023. And last year, the last fair we had was the coldest day of the year for 2022. So it's like. That's the intelligent universe telling you, you've made a mistake in life. So that's what we started off with. Oh my God. You are such a drama queen. Drama llama. Made a mistake in life. It feels like that. It's just like. Sometimes. I just have to be so cold on one day we have to. So, but. It's, it's just, it's just, it's never easy. Otherwise everybody would do it. That's true. Art's easy everybody. You just stay in your studio. La 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 la. Look at me. Yes. I'm inspired. Wonderful. I just sit there and play all day long. Yeah, you just get to paint and the ideas just flow to you. You have no idea. No idea. But on the bright side, we got there early because the people in charge, like we said, were super accommodating. They let us get there an hour before everybody else so we could pull the van right inside the warehouse about five feet away from our booth. And we didn't bug anybody because once everybody gets there, it's like kicking an ant's nest. You can't really drive a van in there without crushing another yeah. ant or two. And we don't like murder. Yeah. And if you ever had to back a van up or any kind of vehicle with people there, you always get some people that help direct you because it's Wisconsin friendly. Even though I'm right here. Even though Kara is the director of operations and I'm just the CDL driver. You're the driver and I'm telling you where to go and it always works out just fine. We don't need extra, need extra directional support. We don't need an air traffic controller. That's right. All, all you people at art fairs that like to help out, we appreciate it, but we got it covered. We got it. Kara has two college degrees. She knows how to direct me as I back up a van, so thank you. I know how to drive. But no, she's <laughs> born a farm girl, so thank you. But <laughs> no. Okay. Calm yourself. <laughs> So, in conclusion, we like the Eau Claire, we like the Banbury. We're gonna go back because... If, if we get juried in. Yeah, if we get juried in. I mean, there's no guarantee just because we're special. I mean, side <laughs> tip, being special, <laughs> we didn't apply on time. We actually applied a month and a half late. And I guess they like us or they're just so kind-hearted they let us apply and got us in, even though we weren't qualified because we missed a due date because we're derps, sorry. Well, we're qualified, we just missed the deadline. Mm-hmm. Um, the people make the fair. Like I said, if it wasn't for the people that come in the booth, give us compliments, if it wasn't for our fans showing up and our friends and family, we would not be doing this art fair at all. Because it makes us some money, but it's, it's not retirement money. No. It's paying the mortgage money and then, you know, we like to live. But I think this is the end of the video, so you'll see some clips after this about our little adventures at that art fair, because we didn't take too much video as it was super busy. Yeah. So if you ever see us at an art fair, feel free to visit. We'll be there. A compliment is always a good way to support us. Yeah. Another way you can support us is we do have a Patreon, and we appreciate all the people that are subscribed and being the members of our Patreon. So for you patrons out there, thank, thank you very much. You. We appreciate you. Thank you. That all helps to 
make this more sustainable. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked this video. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye. Bye. Can you get the kitties on the stairs? behind us we're gonna fill it up with art okay if you look behind us it's all full of stuff now we're gonna make that stuff. now we're gonna make that stuff look pretty okay look if you look behind us it's all organized and now, okay, now look, there's lights everybody's staring at us you only knew okay everybody's staring at us Stop. we're nerds Stop. Stop. <laughs> okay so it's day two of the fair we didn't do much filming yesterday because we were busy we're busy people, we do work. Ah, just think you just sit around all day. No. But it's fun because there's a crap ton of customers and there's a lot of people that came to visit. So thank you everybody that visited. Yeah, that was awesome. Hey, hey. There's a there's, there's there's a smell in here. A it's a warehouse, we know that, yeah. but there is a smell. So what just happened with the Native American oh, lady that was cool? Oh, she came over here and she she gave us good energy. She cleaned the energy in the air. Yeah, she used a, I guess, I think it's called a smudge stick, and I don't know quite what that it is. It smells like herbs and autumn leaves. Yeah. It's just cool to see this big burning plate. Yeah, it's like there's smoke like, everywhere. Kara is working vigorously on a job from Ron before he leaves to go back to Chicago. Not gonna lie, I'm a little scared. I'm not gonna she had three hours, but she spent the last hour visiting with people. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> good luck, Kara. We believe in you. Best comment of the night so far. Some ladies are looking at pottery and everything in their booth for about 10 minutes. And then as they're leaving, they're saying, oh, I didn't know they were selling the tables too.